Good evening, I'm Lina Ormoudou. This is Africa 54. Vincent McCurry is off today. On tonight's show, we'll have those stories in a moment, but first, Kenyan students at the University of Nairobi remained shaken on Monday following a stampede that took place at the school early Sunday morning. Now many of them are calling for a more serious effort by the Kenyan government to protect them from harm. The scary incident occurred at around 4.30 a.m. local time as students mistook an electric transformer explosion as a terrorist attack and stampeded down the halls of their dormitory. Some students jumped from the windows of the building. One student died and more than 140 others were injured and were taken to the hospital. One student leader has serious reservations about the security systems in place at Kenyan schools and universities. Today is a very sad day for comrades, not only the University of Nairobi, but throughout the country. Security or the lack of it in this country has become an issue that we not only need to condemn, but we need the government to take very serious recognition. We are from Garissa, barely a fortnight, and we have over 150 students injured because of a scare on the same, same issue. What has the government done to ensure that, the, that, that, that there is a security within learning institutions in this country? They have done almost nothing. The incident highlighted the panic among students after 148 people were killed in an Al-Shabaab attack on Garissa University College less than two weeks ago. As part of a new Get Path response to the killings at Garissa University, Kenyan officials have given the United Nations Refugee Agency three months to relocate the massive Dadaab refugee camp, the world's largest, to inside Somalia's border. The facility currently houses more than nearly 600,000 Somali refugees. Kenya has in the past accused Islamist militants of hiding out in the camp located in a remote, a dry corner of northeast Kenya. In a written statement, Deputy President William Ruto says Kenya has asked the UNHCR to relocate the refugees within three months, and if they fail to do so, authorities in Nairobi will do so themselves. The UNHCR has not commented on the request to move the camp. <laughs> 